very gloomy. Oh, wow, as soon as I say it's gloomy, it, there's sunlight. That's hilarious. But anyways, heading to uh, California Adventure. That's gonna be really fun, and that's like the prime of like my content because there is the Marvel Land, um, Cars Land. Uh, I think. Wow, that's it. No, no, no. Pixar, yeah. Pixar Pier. And in honor of the Avengers campus being there, I called it Marvel Land. I'm dead strange today, so that's pretty cool. And then we have. Peter Parker. By the way, I don't think you guys know, but this is actually my first time coming here to, to this park. I've, I've been I've been there before. Beeline straight to Avengers Campus. Spider-Man's about to swing. So what you see is that he swings from there. That little anchor, I think, is going to launch him. All the way up there and down into that thing. Look at that. I think we're gonna ride web swingers since we're over here. We're gonna hold off on guardians right now though. Check this out. Hey everyone. Hello. Hey. Hey, you got your own spider bot? Cool. Uh what version is that? Whoa! I can see a roller coaster from here! Cool! Wow, that's a Hulk-sized pretzel. Down there. Thanks, Spider-Man. Wow, this is a friendly neighborhood. Welcome to Avengers Campus. This is a great place for a big speech. Yeah, I had anything important to say. It's time for a little Spidey exercise. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello. Oh, me? Ah, you know, just slide yourself. Okay, time to run some tests. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Watch this. Go, Spider-Man, go. to eat heading in the Pim's test kitchen. Holy moly. I don't even know what I want. Check out the pretzels as they go in small they come out big. They get they get quantum sized. You could literally solve the conflict within quantum medium by just bringing Kang here man. You would love it. We got our food but I just wanted to show you guys the drinks. They're oversized. This is awesome. This is what we got. I got the, I forgot the name, but it's a big meatball. And there's our big chicken sandwiches. And we're sitting out here. By the way, um, terrible seating. There's really nowhere to sit. But yeah, I'm about to enjoy this. Check that out. Oh, Doctor Strange is over here soon. This looks like his little palace area. There's 
Wasp, Captain Marvel, and Spider-Man. We're supposed to be getting the Cars Land right now, but there's just so much happening over here. We just, right. we just can't leave. Look who it is, T'Challa. That's what's up. All right, we finally left. Avengers campus for now. This is Cars Land. We approached. We're in Cars Land now. This is a ride. This is like a dance type ride. Like it's like car. It slings you around. But now we're in Radiator Spring. Look at it. Oh, there's a Luigi right there. I just did a review on Cars not too long ago, so this is all like fresh to me. I didn't mention, but now we're about to ride Radiator Springs Racers. I'm gonna show you guys the inside because I won't be able to record on it. Good look at the ride vehicles. We're at the ride in cars. How is this, how do cars work? Okay, I know I wasn't able to record on the ride, but I did take a picture of the ride photo, so here it is. There's another photo. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Radiator Springs Racers was fun. It went down a lot. I was gonna pull out my phone, but like the pants I have on, don't really like the pockets aren't really, you know, maneuver. I couldn't pull out my phone. But now we're on uh, Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters. It's called something else in theme Halloween, but um, yeah, this one I'll definitely record on. I lied. Okay, so um, the Luigi wide went down. Everything's been going down this trip, so now we're on the Tomato one. So, fun fact, if you guys have ever watched those Mater shorts, they used to come on Disney Channel, Disney XD. These are actually like, this is basically like Mater's warehouse, and this is all just memorabilia from those shows. I'm guessing there's one episode where he went to the moon, I remember the bat episode right there, the El Matador, I remember that. Sorry, I said bat episode, I meant the heavy metal episode. There is also, I don't know what the Terminator is, the ice creamer, I remember the one where he was a monster truck. There's the ghost light. I'm assuming that's where he went to Japan. Um, yeah, but this is really cool. Also here are the cans that he drinks, I know that because, wow, look at that. Like, bro, Mater must be, like, really big to be drinking like this. And there's Grizzly Peak out there in the distance. This is just me recording stuff to, like, bypass the wait time. It's, um, it's like a 40-minute wait for this. The wait time's here today, and the crowd levels are crazy, but it is Saturday, so. But, again, there's the ride right there. And what it does is just, like, you basically go on this little circle thing, and then it, like, swing. The carts on the back, like, swing you from left and right, like, very aggressively. Hopefully, hopefully my arms. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 So now we're heading to Pixar Pier. Okay, what is that Ferris wheel? Alright, I couldn't get to the entrance, but now we're about to hop on Incredicoaster. 
There it is right there, if you guys can see it. It's basically this big roller coaster with the red tubes. So the mental mindset that you have to have uh, going into roller coasters is that, uh, let me get back down. Roller coasters aren't meant to be scary. Like, sure, bad things happen on roller coasters. I'm going to Vegas and go to a Bad things happen on roller coasters. Bad things that um, you know you don't you're not supposed to think about them before riding one. But they're you know they're supposed to be thrill. It's supposed to be fun. So once you get that out of your head, once you're like okay, I'm supposed to have fun, it gets easier. And another thing is intimidation. Like there, I'm looking around in line, and there's about like a couple eight year olds, five year olds that are about to ride this ride. I'm 20 years old. Do you really think I'm going to let these five year olds outshine me? And this ride this roller coaster. Also, for this roller coaster, I do this thing: if where if you ride it, you get to go get a cookie. But that's only if you ride it. Like if you just go get the cookie, then there's no accomplishment. Some of the pre-show. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. After riding a roller coaster like that, I deserve myself a cookie. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, this is the roller coaster. It's actually set inside of it. All right, one last look at Pixar Pier. It's probably the last time we're over here. Everything over there was like really long, and I don't really think anything was like worth the wait. Really, it's mostly like carnival rides, stuff you could do at like a local fair. All right, so this trip is just gonna be a lot of eating. We're at the uh, Cozy Cones back in Cars Land because they have this like chili queso type of ice cream cone and you know I had to get it. Alright, here it is right here. I guess I'll just take a bite of it. Really good, really good. So I just took a bite of the uh, cone itself and it's like a bread like cone. It, I thought it would be like a waffle cone but it's not. Alright, one last look at Cars Land. This will probably be the last time I'm over here. I tried, I tried my best doing that. I don't want to turn around and walk, but I am leaving Cars Land. Tomater. Fillmore's. Pretty sick. Alright, next stop is Soaring. I'm walking down there right now. So far, crowd levels haven't been too crazy, but it's definitely bigger than yesterday. Again, it is a Saturday, so, you, you know. But here we are, it's soaring time. Check that out. Ready? Here we go. Hang on. Uh -oh. Here we go.
such an amazing day. Words really can't describe like how happy I am right now just to be here. Again, I always suggest to everyone just once in their life, come visit Disneyland. It doesn't matter which park. Literally just come and visit. Man, it's such such an amazing place. Everyone here is happy. There's no negativity going on. None of that. None of that at all. It's literally just a happy place. But Incredicoaster has like ruined my voice, man. I I, I low-key kind of lost it after screaming on that ride for so long. All I gotta do is put a one thing out and I have no idea what that is. Alright, here we go. Mike and Soli. I don't think you guys can see it, but look. I'm riding in taxis. Oh crap, we're moving. Moving again. You guys can't see it, but there's Randall. And then there's uh, the CDA. We're heading to the taxi. I don't know about you, but those bag of calories be busting. Can't forget about that sugar, salt, and fat. Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child. If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in monster history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child here tonight. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. It's true. I saw the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> There's so much happening. And it grabbed me with this giant fork tongue and rolled me off the door. Oh, we gotta get you home. Superstore. Superstore. Not just any normal store. A superstore. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys around. Really sweet Spider-Man figurine right there. Oops. Here's some hot these think these are hot toys. It's really cool. I have no idea what that is right there. That's crazy. More hot toys. Look at this Thanos. Thanos is 
three ninety five, so four hundred dollars basically. All this up here. I have no idea what any of this is. Some comic books. There's Stormbreaker. Some sweet figurines. 150. Wow. Doctor Strange. Wasp. Shiri. There's Thanos. Some Marvel zombies. That's a Thor. I think that's Black Panther. No, that's Shiri. You guys can't really see it. There's Doctor Strange. Here's Black Panther's helmet. And there's, I guess, the replica right there. So this is cool. This is actually a prop from Captain Marvel. I didn't watch, Cap not Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, sorry. But I didn't really watch Miss Marvel, as you guys know. But it's still cool to know that these were actually used within the show, and now I'm standing in the same room as them. Some Wakanda Forever merch. You guys can see. I don't think any of these will have any spoilers on them, though. Uh, what is that? The harp shape herb, I think. Yeah, it is. It sure is. That's really cool. Oh, here's some keychains. What is that? I, if I can pick it up. It's Black Panther, Killmonger. Okay, so these are all from the first one. Jacket, hats, blankets down there. Oh, these are really cool. They're like Spider Man's eyes. You know how Spider Man's eyes are always like expressive? You can basically replicate that with these. And they're right down here. Here is some mighty Thor Funko Pops, Jane Foster. Some more Thor stuff. A lot more Thor stuff. I think this is just a whole Thor stand. What's over here? Uh, Thor stickers. Stickers? Stickers, yeah, they are stickers. That's uh, book bags. Uh, hats. And then within Avengers Campus, I guess a really big thing here are these spider bots. And so they're basically like your average remote control device toy. And you get like a dot. There's a Doctor Strange one right here. Spider Man. Iron Man's right there. While leaving, you can get a look at Iron Man before you exit out. I don't know which Mark Armor this is, though. And from there, we're back in Avengers Campus to ride the Spider Man ride. I just realized this is an arc reactor right here, so I guess that's powering the whole entire campus. Alright, while everyone else is waiting in line, I decided to come to the shawarma palace. And not only am I going to get shawarma, but... Alright, sorry, I didn't really get to showcase what I got, but I was eating my shawarma, which was good, by the way. But, um, yeah, I got the cracked hammer. I got the cracked hammer for Love and Thunder, which is really... I like it. It glows in the dark, and you can also put your drink up there in the front, so. As much as I'm not a fan of the Love and Thunder, this is still a really, really cool, just souvenir just to have. I like it's Thor's hammer. Who doesn't want Thor's hammer? Alright, um, we're still in line. Um, I really don't know what to say. I'm exhausted. It's been two days filled with just Disney. And as you can see, I... I'm having a blast. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys when we get into the ride, which will be like a split second for you guys. You really don't have to endure what I'm going through right now. But, word to the wise, lightning lanes. Get lightning lanes. Or just come on a weekday, like in the middle of like a school season or something. That should work out too. Alright, still waiting here. Um, the ride went down. This is the fifth ride that has went down since we've been here. This is actually not the fifth ride. There's been a lot of rides that have went down since we've been here. And I don't think someone at Disney is doing a good maintenance job. Um, yeah, we haven't moved since. We've been here since like six. And it's now, well, we've been here, well, it's almost eight o'clock. We have been here since six. So in other words, we've been here for like two hours. They said it was gonna be like a 85 minute wait, and that is two hours, but still. Oh boy, starting to move, Loki starting to move. I'll, I'll see you guys in another 45 minutes. Again, that is like a split second to you guys, but still. Uh, this sucks. Check out the webs on the walls, they're not, not the best. Vent web. 
we started moving again, guys, like fast this time. We were just over there, as you can see. And now we're over here. And if you guys don't believe me that the ride closed down, look, that all of that over there is empty. They're just now letting people back in over there. Oh, we made it. We're finally inside. All right, we gotta come up to this line and we can't cross it. There's some bicycles and stuff in here, some scooters. Things around here, pretty chill. So, the so unorganized. The oh, there's his Death Star. You guys see it up there? That's where the repulsor blasts. Oh, there's Peter. We hope you have a great time on your visit to the worldwide. I'm pretty sure Moon Girl is canon to the MCU because there's her little T Rex that she has. Peter Parker, and here at Web, we got access to some pretty awesome tech, like vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have pin particles and Star Tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like um, like these fireballs, for example. Check it out; they have this really cool self-replicating feature. Because? Uh, because it's awesome, buddy. You could stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the Web Slinger vehicle using onboard tech. You will be able to sling webs just like my buddy Spider-Man. Peter. Your presentation is getting away from you. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Sharon. If you could just initiate the safety protocols, it'd be great. Really Problem with that, so Peter. Anyway, if you no. want to sling a web, all you gotta do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web, and that's it. It's awesome. Peter, your spider webs are continuing to replicate and are oh, consuming look, everything in their path. Whoa. They seem to be stuck in self replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting mm -hmm. Mr. Stark. Don't call me! Sorry. Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, Shadow. Could you just call somebody else? Ask them to do it. Okay. Contacting Spider-Man. Um, I'm gonna go That's find Spider-Man first off because he's around here somewhere. Okay, goodbye. Spider-Man! As you may have noticed, the spider-bots are locked in that awesome self-replication mode. In spite of what you see, they were created to be robotic helpers that can break down raw material and create all kinds of useful tech. Spider-Man gets here, as long as they don't get into the alien fluid. This is now a bigger problem. Activating threat level protocols. Nice job, Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to help. You made it. Great. Threat level is at exponential danger. We might need some help. Perhaps I'll call the Avengers? Don't worry, everyone. I got this. If you guys don't know how this ride works, it's like it's like Buzz Lightyear from yesterday. All you do is just fling your wrist like that, and it's supposed to simulate you shooting webs, or you can just go like that. It doesn't matter. For me, when it, I think Spider-Man when he you know, does his little web then he flicks his wrist back. So it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's easier. <laughs> More like a that. <laughs> here are the rules right here. All right, here it is. I'm probably not gonna record on this because I want to do the best I can. So yeah, I'll see you guys afterward. From that ride, we go into another gift shop. It's raining. Really big on the Spider-Man stuff here, man. Spider-Man is definitely Disney's cash cow. These are really cool. I don't really know what this is. It's $12.99. What is it? Though? It's like a pin. No, it's not a pin. I think it just sits. Oh no. <laughs> I think it just sits there. It's really cool though. I'm gonna put it back before I break it. <laughs> and with that being said, we say goodbye to Avengers Campus. It's really nice. Uh, more than likely, we'll be back up here when they add the multiverse ride that they were talking about. But yeah, it's about time that we say goodbye to, again, Avengers Campus. If you're a fan of Marvel, I really do suggest you come up here. And uh, just meet characters. You can literally spend a whole day here if you wanted to. Because there's just so much to do. We saw characters like Captain Marvel, Hulk, Black Panther, Iron Man, Spider-Man. And I got this hammer. We went to Web Swingers. We didn't ride Guardians because I'm not a fan of Drop Tower. So I was going to pass on that. And this is where Spider-Man usually does his meet and greets. I don't think so anymore. But during the pandemic, this is where he used to do them. 
goodbye Avengers Campus. And then I didn't think I showed the arc reactor, but there it is right there. I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video as much as I did. All right, it's raining. <laughs> We're gonna say goodbye to a rainy Disney's California adventure. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the last time that you'll see this or see me here around this time because it's, I'm leaving tomorrow so this is the last day here but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you guys later so long uh, I think we ain't done yet you but you personally I think we ain't done yet I remember I promised you guys I'd show you what was under here next to my hotel <laughs> Here it is. This is basically just like, just a little shopping center. There's some really sick photos in there if you guys can see it. A little geek store in here. We're not allowed in here because this is where they make all these and I think there's like a strong sort of paint or something that, you know, we can't really like inhale like that, so. Take a look at Clyde and his robe. Bro's grown a couple inches and looks a tad bit meaner, but hey. Check out how cool this Darth Vader is. Again, we're not allowed to go in here, and I believe it's closed. That's the thing about this place. Everything literally closes so early here. There's a magic store right there. This is where you can come and play board games and stuff. As you can see, they serve a lot of like Japanese candy. I'm sorry if I sound very raspy. My voice is gone, and I'm exhausted. Two days of Disney takes a lot out of you. I don't know how people can do it for like a whole week. But as you can see, what you do is you just get a board game and then you go into one of these tents and play it. And obviously they have your drinks over there, mostly like energy drinks and stuff and more like just merch that you can buy. See, everything here is Halloween themed. And here you're able to make your own car. You can see one just riding by right there. Yeah, this is basically it over here, I mean. Oh my God, it's a fixed Clyde. All the skeletons we've seen today have had a missing arm, which is just crazy. Also, there's this thing. Um, yeah. And I know that I said that was when I was leaving California Adventure. I know I said that was going to be the end of the vlog, but obviously I'm a terrible vlogger. So this is actually the end of the vlog. Or no, the vlog is just going to keep going. The vlog will end when it ends. Maybe the vlog would just keep going on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. The infinity vlog, the world's longest vlog ever. Alright, this is closed, but we're passing on uh, one of the geek stores here. It's a really big one. Holy moly, that is a spooky. Look at this little girl swinging on the swing. They're also playing the Chucky theme song. That's funny. Um, if you guys are watching Chucky, it's actually a really good show. It's on USA, Hulu, Sci-Fi. What is happening here? Oh my god. Hey, 